Hi, my name is Frank Carreras, and I'm a digital marketing professor and co-founder of Mamis Digitales, an online community that helps mothers uh, become uh, skillful and learn digital professions so they can uh, work at the same time as they take care of their babies. So I was lucky or unlucky enough to be part of the first class to come out of the business school. I say unlucky because at the time there were no alumni that I could go to for advice like you have now. But I think I was lucky too because out of that class a lot of entrepreneurs came out. Basically because we had no choice but to create some things that were not already here in the business school. We started the Alumni Association, we started the first magazine, we organized the first international trips. So that made us be more proactive and more uh, open to starting new things. Now, as you can imagine, I spent countless hours in the halls of this building like you are doing right now, or you may do in the future. Um, but there are certain things that have changed a lot since that time. For instance, some statistics say that the time and the cost that it takes to start a new venture has gone down to one-fifth of what it was in 2004. This means that it's a lot easier and a lot cheaper to start new things today. This is good for you. There's also another thing that I'd like to tell you that I've learned over the years. When I was in school at that time, one of the things I heard over and over again is that I needed to have experience, and then if I wanted to start something, I had to quit everything and just focus on my business. What I've learned is that that's not the case in a lot of very successful situations, and that's probably not the best advice. The best entrepreneurs I know are not the ones that are willing to take risks at all costs, are the ones that are willing to reduce that risk so they have a better chance for success. The best way to reduce your, your risk when you start your business is if you have a job, keep that job and start your business at the same time. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is gonna put a lot of pressure on your time and your energy. But if you're at a time in your life where starting a business is what you want to do, it's probably one of the best ways to do it. Like I said, it's easier and it costs less to do the first steps. If you're able to validate your idea, find the first customers and figure out what works and what doesn't work, the day you decide to leave your job and start your company or continue in your company, the risk of that company will be a lot lower. So good luck, and if there's anything I can do for you, you know you can find me in any social media or through the Alumni Association. Thank you.